Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Alex Fresco and in this first video we will see a quick overview about BSolid. BSolid is a CAD CAM software fully integrated with the BSC machines and uh, on top here we have the toolbar. In a minute we will see and we will go through all the options here. Uh, then we have a couple of sidebars. The main one here on the left, which is the main menu, and the second one here, that is the sub-menu. So based on your choice or your selection, you will see all the functions changing here. Then we have the working area here in the center. And finally, we have the right panel on the right. And here is where you can specify coordinates eventually and create panel. Now let's start talking about the toolbar. So the first one here, the first icon here is to create a new project. Then of course we have open an existing one already saved. Then we can save, save uh, a program has. Then we have save macro, which is normally used to create, uh, of course, macros, which basically are sub programs that you can uh, recall and use in any other program. Then we have the import button. In case we want to import a drawing from a, an external software the export button in case we want to export in a different format. Then uh, right now is disabled uh, just because I don't have anything in my work area, uh, but we have uh, the print button and the print button is needed to print whatever is visualized here in the work area. Then we have cut, copy, paste, and delete. We have the undo and restore buttons. Selection. So this is the tool that you will use to select geometries and machining. The orbital, we will see it later. Then we have the drag view, so with the hand tool, like you do, for instance, in, in the PDFs. Then we have zoom all and all the views, so we can uh, change the view and see the part from the top, the bottom, left side, right side, the front, back, and the isometric one. Then we have the work table control, and we will see maybe in a, in a future video what, what it does. Display geometry direction, that is used to, of course, display the geometry direction, which is important when you apply machining. Is in, why is important? It's important because uh, uh, if you want uh, to work with the tool correction, the tool will apply a left or right correction based on the direction of the geometry. So that's, uh, that's why it's really important to see eventually how the geometry was built. Then the next one, we can reverse the direction. If we don't like that the geometry has been created, let for instance say clockwise, we can uh, easily change and uh, turn it counterclockwise uh, with this button here. Then we can uh, change the views. Uh, we have uh, the one that displays just the wireframe of the objects. Then we have the realistic view and the photorealistic view. Guide. This question mark here opens up the B Solid manual.
And then the last two buttons here are basically to export uh, uh, projects for BNest or BWindows, in case you have them. Now, talking about the sidebars, the sidebar here, uh, the first option is it shows drawing. And here, uh, the second uh, sidebar will show all the functions available for drawings. Keep in mind that uh, from uh, this one, which is the last one present in the basic version, all the others are uh, part of a module. So it's not included in the basic version. And you may not have it. Another thing for this first video is uh, the right panel where we can add a piece and then we can uh, we will see we will have all the informations uh, about uh, drawing panel and uh, machining so everything will be shown in this right panel here in case we want to go with specific numbers. And then at the bottom, we have variables. If you want to create a, a variable and uh, there are no limitations about the amount of variables, you can create as many variables you want. Then we have the OSNAPs. We will see how they work in a future video. We can enable or disable the grid. Not sure if you are able to see it. I mean, everything is dark here. We can uh, eventually change and customize all the colors by using this uh, configuration button. Here you will have the option to change uh, the standard and customize your uh, background also. We have the ortho function in order to force the direction of uh, your geometries uh, by every 45 degree. And we have snap, which is uh, the same thing as uh, OSNAP, but uh, this is whenever the grid is uh, the grid is on. So it will work with the grid. There are a few more things for the layers. Uh, here we can uh, set a color from layer. We can uh, select an object and change the, change the color, an object or a geometry and change its color. And then we have the layers which we can uh, turn them on, off, so visualize them or not, uh, lock them or not, and so leave it editable. Then we have the layer management button, so if we click on it, we are able to change the properties for the layers and the names and so on. And then a few options, display rapid operation, so it will show you also the rapid movement, display or not the tool in the machining operation, and eventually we can uh, um, apply a different color for every machine. This is it for the quick uh, overview and the first video. I hope you have enjoyed it and it has been helpful for you. Stay tuned to see new videos and please subscribe because that will help and support to keep this channel alive. Thank you for watching.